Hello, in this video we will cover constructors in Java. What exactly is a constructor? A constructor is a special member function which has the same name as the class name. Unlike functions, it has no return type and it is automatically called whenever an object of the class is created. So, why do we need a constructor? As a constructor is automatically created by Java, whenever a new object is created, it is typically used to initialize variables. So a Java class has member variables, constructors, and member functions. Let's look at this with an example here. Here we have a class with some member variables, constructors, and member functions. There are three types of constructors, default constructors, parametric constructors, and copy constructors. Let us learn about each of them. First is default constructor. If you do not specify a constructor, Java automatically provides default constructor that initializes all member variables to zero. The default constructor has no arguments and it has the same access modifier as the class. You can also provide an implementation for the default constructor with no arguments and initialize the member variables. What if we want to pass parameters to initialize the object? Then we can write a parameterized constructor. A parameterized constructor has arguments which can be used to initialize the object. Let's see this in an example. Here, in a class employee, we are passing two parameters to the constructor. So when we create a new object, we pass the values with which we want to initialize the object. Next. We will learn about copy constructor. A copy constructor produces duplicate of an existing object of a class. As shown in the example here, it takes only one parameter which is an object of the same class. So can we write multiple constructors in the same class? Like methods, constructors can also be overloaded. Since the constructors in a class all have the same name as the class name, their signatures are differentiated by their parameter lists. Like in the example here, we have both parameterized and default constructors. Let's take a look at the kind of questions you could be asked on constructors. First step is where code is given and you are asked questions on it. For example, in the given code, constructor is given and you are asked to identify the class name. Since we just learned that the constructor has the same name as the class name, we should be able to answer this by finding the constructor, which is the function which does not have a return value. Second is where a code segment is given and you are asked how many times a constructor is called. Like here, no object is instantiated so the constructor is not called at all. Or another type of question is where you are asked which constructor is being called. Here, you have to match the type and number of parameters to identify which one is called. Second type of question is where you are asked to write a code. Example, write a Java class calculator with a constructor to initialize variable count to zero. Here, we will write a class with a default constructor and initialize the variables. Another example is write a Java class my blog with a member variable age and a constructor to initialize age to 14. Here, you will define the class with member variables and then write a parameterized constructor which takes in age. Another type of question could be to write a Java class box with member variables such as length, width, and height. The default constructor should initialize the values to zero. The parameterized constructor should take in three values for the dimensions. Here, we will write the box class and first define the member variables. Then, we will write the default constructor, which initializes the values to zero. Then, we will write the parameterized constructor, which takes in three values for dimensions. Do practice some more questions on constructors before we move on to the next topic.